ブルーアーカイブはい、エブリワン。うーん。そう。ノーマリー、on a day like today, you would probably see, uh, like, jokey jokes, silly stuff. We're kind of doing something silly, but this is not really a joke. Uh, this is basically me going to try and pitch a series to you all. I'm basically stealing this from Maximilian, dude. But we're gonna do Rate the Waifus, or Husbandos, depending on the game. Seeing as this is a game with nothing but waifus, we <laughs> it's just going to be Rate the Waifus. But yeah, we're gonna go through every single character in this game, and I'm going to explain uh, which ones I like, which ones I don't technically like, <laughs> um, which ones I kind of like are iffy on, and so on and so forth. I have it set to date acquired, just so we can go through this in a nice, uh, sort of order. <laughs> yeah, let's start off with, uh, the starting characters that you get. This is Yuka. This is the first tank that you'll ever get. Um, I really like her. Uh, her, her whole thing is that she's, like, absurdly good with math and, um, other kinds of things like that. Uh, but, <laughs> there's also just the fun thing of her having to, um, uh, keep track of all of Sensei's expenses because he, <laughs> he spends all of his money on... Uh, gotcha games and model kits and other types of stuff like that to the point that the only thing that he has left to eat is bread <laughs> and it's not even like garlic bread or anything it's just like a literal loaf of bread that he just snacks on um, I wonder if this is some sort of social commentary anyways I really like her um, she's she's really useful and um, and pretty much anything that requires explosive type uh, damage. Um, she's not the best tank uh, because she doesn't have any sort of provoke or anything. Her only thing is that she like makes herself a barrier and because she's out in the front, if nobody else is out in the front, then she'll just she's like the most likely to get targeted. but it's not a guarantee. Um, either way, I, I just really like her a lot. Um, it, it'll be, like, redundant to say design looks amazing because, th I'm like, there is only one design in this game that I think is not good. Every other design in, in Blue Archive, I think, is fantastic. They did an amazing job with everybody in it. Um, I'm gonna give Yuka an 8. I really like her. Suzumi. I think it's very cool, uh, that... Her so her whole thing is that like she's part of the um the the disciplinary community and she goes around like making sure that nobody's like committing crimes, you know, causing any trouble, what have you. Uh but her whole thing is that she uses uh flash grenades. And uh at first it's not really understood as to why, because she's she's seen as this like really, you know, intimidating figure. But then, like, Sensei puts two and two together and realizes that despite how much, uh, despite how adamant she is to, like, put a stop to any wrongdoers, she never wants to actually hurt anybody. Um, she'll, she'll hurt them, like, mentally because there's one. Her means of, like, discipline, disciplining, like, thugs and crooks and such is to, like, handcuff them to, an, uh, to like, a rail and then blast Justin Bieber on full volume. <laughs> and everybody's just like, nobody even listens to this song anymore! What's wrong with you? Um, so, yeah, that's all, that's, like, stuff like that, I guess, can cause, like, mental and emotional damage. But she never wants to try and physically hurt anybody, and I think that's a nice, um... I think that's a nice clash with what you would expect from that type of job. Uh, besides that, she's a pretty standard character. Uh, like, really, really just standard. Like, she's just damage and I think, like, has... Yeah, there's some things where she can do, like, a bit of evasion. And, um, 
She she does like um, she her main thing is crowd control and that's pretty much it. Uh, but I really like her. Um, she's pretty neat. I'm going to give her a seven. Hasumi. Uh, this is the um is a member of the. Uh, what's the name? I think it is just Justice. Let me check. Yeah, the Justice Task Force. Um, and they're basically like the elite, um, problem solvers at Trinity. Uh, I really like her. She's like the, the, the older, um, like, big sister, like, of the group. Um, she's really, she's really fun. Uh, her... <laughs> Her story events are also pretty funny because there's <laughs> there's a point where Sensei is like um, talking about her wings, but just because uh, she's not she's like not thinking straight, she thinks that Sensei's being really forward and thinking talking about her boobs because that's the only thing uh, people like like talk about her. Um, or like like mentioned to her and she's just gotten so used to it. But it's like, no, it's like your wings are neat. And he's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> and I like that. Um She's really she's really uh interesting as a character, because her whole thing is that despite being a sniper, uh she's meant to try and like uh almost be like a a semi automatic sniper. <laughs> Because, like, every single time, um, yeah, every single time she defeats an enemy, she reloads instantly. Um, so she's always constantly, like, she's supposed to be always constantly dishing out damage to, um, to not only, uh, infantry, but can also do nice big damage to, like, uh, the, the big guys, the big enemies. Um, again, she's really neat. I like her. Um, I'll give her a seven as well. Chin Chinatsu, Chiatsu, Chin yeah Chinatsu, um the the healer that you get at the start, um she is part of the perfect team, and she <laughs> a lot a lot of what she ends up um a lot of what she goes through feels kind of like a like. It's almost like a comedy routine of almost... She's, like, just doing her own thing, but then so much crazy stuff keeps happening that she's like, Oh, yeah, sure, I guess it's up to me to deal with this. <laughs> and I really like that. Um, she... She's not... She's unfortunately not uh, used a lot as a healer, and it's, as you can see, I, I haven't even really leveled her up that much. Um... Because there are just, like, so many other different healers that do, uh, various different things. And while she does, like, help with, uh, with making the allies more bulky, she, she doesn't do a lot of healing, and it's only for one ally. Um, so yeah, she's, she's okay. I really like her design. Um, again, that's redundant. A, a lot of the designs in this game are great. Uh, but I also just like how she's always... Th like thrown thrown into the mix not wanting to uh not wanting to deal with everybody's stuff but just having to just because of how that's how her job works <laughs> i'll give her uh i'll give her a mm, i'll give her a six kotama uh this is a part of the um i think it's the hacker group i'm probably yeah, there she's part of uh, Veritas, the the hacker group, and uh, her whole thing is that she likes tapping into, <laughs> she likes tapping into uh, like radio frequencies and such, and like getting um, uh, like information and all that sort of thing. But uh, of course, her newest obsession is tapping into pretty much anything that Sensei uses, and like trying to see if. <laughs> He's, uh, he's getting up to anything. Um, if I remember correctly, one of the story, the ones is, like, 
uh, her thinking, like, due to her, like, only hearing part of a conversation, thinking that Sensei is getting up to, like, illegal, like, backdoor deals and such, when really he was just, like, <laughs> he was just buying a figure. Um, so yeah, stuff like that's really fun. Um, her whole thing is that she buffs, uh, allies with attack, and that does really good for stuff like raids and the like. Um, I, I use her a lot. I really like her. Um... Yeah, besides that, uh, she's pretty neat. Uh, I'll give her a six. Katori! Uh, I really like her. I really like her a lot. Her whole thing is that she doesn't shut up. <laughs> she always wants to, um, explain, like, anything, whether it- She's basically, like, a walking Wikipedia. That's literally her. Like, any, if you wanted to know, like, the history of why hot dogs, like, were put in certain packages, or, like, how, uh, cranberries were, like, distributed to, th like, throughout the country, where coconuts came from, like, anything that does not matter, <laughs> anything that you could possibly think of that means literally nothing, and would not help you at all to learn this information. She will explain it to you. <laughs> and I find it very funny, because literally any time anybody asks her, or like, out of nowhere goes, I wonder why this is the way it is. She'll just appear, it's just like, I know! <laughs> First, let's talk about how computers even <laughs> came into existence. It's like, we didn't ask for all that. And it's like, oh, but I assure you, it's very important. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I really like her. Um, her, she has a kit that's, like, very interesting, and it's unfortunately one that I haven't, like, touched on, uh, due to there just being just a lot of characters in this game. Uh, but she gives, uh, she can give barriers to, uh, the, everybody. Um, and she's, uh, also, like, really good at just, like, doing damage, um, if she's actually built properly. The thing is, is that she's a one star. So actually getting all of the shards uh, to to get her to like high uh, high damage capacity is going to take much longer than um, getting someone to getting someone at uh, like uh, three star to like five star or what have you. Um, but you will st you will like gradually just get one stars, of course, from pulling uh, over the course of the game. And I really, I really, when I get her to like four or five star, want to start using her more because I really, I really just enjoy her uh, as a character. Also, she she uses a minigun, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, I really like her a lot. I'm going to give her an eight. Yoshimi. Uh, I also really like her. Uh, her, she's part of the the sweets club. Um. Uh, I think it's like it's specifically the after school sweets sweets club, mm. um, uh, and like she and her friends, they just go out and they 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 eat sweets and uh, it's either limited edition sweets or any other type of novelty things like that, and they just like indulge, and um, I think they also like, or maybe that's like the other one, but I think they also like have. Um, they make, like, a list of, like, the best ones or what have you, um, and, like, like, go from, from, uh, store to store and keeping track of whenever there's, like, new limited edition stuff or deals or what have you. Um, I really like her a lot. Uh, she might have the, the, like, you know, kind of soon face, and she is kind of a soon, um... But she's not so much so that I, like, I, I dislike her. Uh, her whole thing is that she just is very, like, annoyed with the fact that she's short. So she constantly drinks milk. <laughs> um, and hoping that she'll, like, grow by the time she's, like, older. Um, but yeah, I really like her a lot. Uh, her, her story where... She she goes to that um, cafe with Sensei, and there's the the like eat fifty macaroons in like five minutes challenge, and if you do it, they're all free. Was very funny because <laughs> Sensei Sensei got through like 
Sensei got through like three of them just fine, and then by his sixth one, he felt like he was gonna die. <laughs> and Yoshi is just like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> just eating them like it's nothing. Uh, again, might be social commentary for something. Um, but yeah, I really like her a lot. Um, despite how like a lot of people consider her not good, I find her extremely useful. Because her whole thing is that she launches a, a rocket, uh, and it stuns uh, anything, well, most things. It doesn't stun, like, bosses and, and such like that. But, um, I should say, it doesn't stun raid bosses. It stuns normal bosses just fine. Uh, but yeah, it stuns most things in the game, and it's a nice, it gets a nice reprieve and, like, uh, time for everybody else to keep doing, uh, doing the damage and, like, and if you actually build her up enough, she does actually do enough damage on her own to actually take out uh, enemies, uh, which is very useful on um, chest with all the 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 uh, robots running around. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy her. She's she's like she's like the the one star I've all I've just always really liked, and the one that I've been keeping um, since the beginning. I've just always really enjoyed her. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give her a, I'm gonna give her a nine. Shimiko. Yes, she's at level one. I'm very sorry. <laughs> which, is, which is kind of unfortunate, because I also really like this one. Um, she, she's the librarian, um, at Trinity, and her whole thing is that she, she is the kind of strict librarian that's like, no making noise. Uh, the thing is, is that she is a bit, um, she is a bit on the nice side. She'll give you multiple chances, but if you continue to, like, disrespect, uh, the library and the books and the like, uh, she will, she will very much show that, uh, just because she's the librarian, it doesn't mean that she's weak. She has to lift these books all day. <laughs> she's not, she's, she's got, she's got strong. <laughs> she's, she's very strong. Um, and no, a thug, uh, learned that lesson very, very adamantly, um, in her, in her, uh, story. Uh, I really like her. Her whole thing, though, is not something that's used often, is that she makes cover. Uh, the thing is, is the cover is a thing that's normally, you know, everywhere in, like, normal stages, so you don't really use her. But, she is very useful, uh, for Shiro and Kudo, uh, the, the raid in which, um, they, like, send things. They, like, send things in, like, certain lines to try and attack you. Um, she's very good for that, um, and making sure, and making sure that your, your girls don't get hit too much, uh, during the fight. Um, so yeah, she's really good. Uh, she's useful in, like, only small areas, but I really like her as a character. So, uh, she gets a six. Subaki. Uh, this is considered the, the best tank in the game because she has, uh, provoke. She taunts all the enemies. Um, and she just has, like, so much, like, uh, like, look at her health. <laughs> that should be enough right there. Look at her health compared to, like... Anybody else we've like shown so far. She's she actually let me go to Yuka and compare So it's about the same uh, It's uh, it's a little bit more and it'll get even further if I actually uh, Get her um, get like the tier 5 equipment uh, But yeah, she's very very good um, She even has the ability to heal herself uh, when her HP is low, so she she even takes care of that. Uh, her as a character, though, I very much enjoy. Her whole thing is that she sleeps all day, uh, but is somehow constantly able to fight back despite being sleep asleep. Like she sleepwalks, but also manages to fight while asleep. So she sleep fights. Um, and uh, as by the the side story that got um, got released uh, recently, it also uh, touches on the fact that she's very active during the night. She's not really a morning person or like a day person, but she's always a she's always like alert and awake during the night, which 
is pretty neat. Uh, if this was a game like Girls Frontline, she probably would have been a knight unit. Um, but yeah, I really like her a lot. Uh, <laughs> there's actually a pillow in her shield. You don't you don't ever see it, but you always hear her about the fact that she she has a pillow whenever uh, necessary. All right, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I like Subaki a lot. She's very useful. Uh, pretty much any team that needs a tank, um, she will be able to fill the role perfectly well. And yeah, I really like her as a character, so I'm going to give her a... Mm, I'm going to give her a 9. Hifumi! Uh, I absolutely love her. <laughs> She, I am convinced that, like, she's the best character in this game. <laughs> because, like, they so, one, she's adorable. Two, her whole thing is that she, she worries about being too normal. But the thing about that is that due to the fact that she is, like, relatively, you know, normal-ish... Uh, she is constantly used as the straight man for all of the, like, d insane stuff that happens in this story. Uh, she becomes, when, uh, Abydos are, like, trying to figure out what to, um, do about their, like, their school getting, like, um, possibly, like, overthrown by Kaiser and stuff like that. She ends up accidentally joining them to rob a bank. <laughs> they don't have a mask for her, so she just has a paper bag that has a five on it. Um, her like her whole th <laughs> her whole thing is like she's she's very obsessed with a show called Momo Friends. Uh, she has put uh, Pedoto um, merchandise all over the all, all over the gaff. Um, and she she just very much enjoys like the show everything about it and will go through like the black market just to get like uh limited edition or um discontinued merch uh she will <laughs> apparently she's like she's gone there so many times she knows which place is not to not to trend because that's where they like the even more rough people show up which it's just funny that this cu this cute girl's going to the black market for plushes and, and figures and stuff, and she's like, oh no, don't worry, I know the safe spots. <laughs> um, yeah, her, the, also, the, the biggest thing is that she is the, the temporary leader of the, um, the makeup work club, or the Dum Dum Club, uh, due to... Her and uh, three other girls having very subpar grades, they need to uh, study adamantly, uh, get uh, get their their uh, school uh, test scores up, and if they can do that, then they 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 get to continue in school perfectly fine. However, if they don't, uh, they get expelled. They have I think three attempts to take the um the the test and i'm not going to say story spoilers in case anybody hasn't like been uh keeping up with that um but ends up being ends up being like a very very interesting reason as to why the makeup club was really made um but yeah i love her a lot she's just uh she's just a bundle of joy whenever she shows up and Having her constantly be the straight man to everyone else's insanity is also incredibly fun. Uh, she's very useful in fights. She 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 basically has a uh, a provoke in herself because she sends a giant Pododo plush uh, that like taunts everybody. Um, it also does damage when it thuds <laughs> because it's like it's a big plush. Um, and yeah, she does like very good. She has very good damage. She does. Um, she has pretty good health, which is also pretty uh, interesting. And she makes it so that she can uh, get her stuff back real quick. Um, so she's always fairly fun uh, to keep around. I very much enjoy her. I'm going to give her a ten. It's that's just going to happen. She's the first ten so far. <laughs> Serena. 
Uh, this is the best healer in the game. <laughs> uh, well, eh, she was the best healer in the game, but she's still, like, like pretty high up there. Uh, so besides the fact that she heals, you know, as, like, a, as a factor, um, she's also really good in, in like, the, the Shiro and Kudo raid because her heal, uh, actually makes it, it's, a it's like a medkit box that if you drop it near somebody, they will walk uh, over to it and uh, get it which as you would expect can get them out of the direction of the the stuff that flies at them but she also just as a passive heals somebody every 35 seconds so that's not something that you have to even spend like your your um your your skill points on when like during the battle uh, so, just, like, having everybody run through, they get healed, uh, just naturally. Which, very, very good. There's, like, two other characters in the game that do this, and they're, like, attackers. Um, but the thing is that they don't heal themselves. Uh, due to the fact that she's support, she never has to worry about that, because she never gets hurt. She's, she's always in the back. Um... And that's really good. Her other thing is that she makes it so that everybody is not hit as hard by crowd control. Which, for bosses and raids and other types of stuff like that, is also pretty apparent. Because, as you'd expect, the raid bosses and bosses in general want to do everything in their power to hit as many of you as they can. So, she's very useful. Um, as a character, very funny. <laughs> she is constantly worried about... Um, everybody's health, but is especially worried about Sensei's health, because Sensei doesn't take care of himself if that wasn't apparent by the fact that he eats bread, and nothing but bread, because he spent all of his money and can't afford normal things. Um, so, like, she constantly worries about him and, like, his safety. But the funniest thing is that recently they gave her, um, a recollection. And the, the way that... <laughs> The way that they, um, uh, no, actually, never mind. They, they, she already had a recollection. They just gave her another event. Um, point is, is that, uh, since they wanted to pay, uh, Serena back for all she's done, so, so the way he goes about it is that he sets up, like, a, a nice picnic in the park, and he's, like, all situated, and then he just goes, Someone help! I need a help! I need help for emergency! I have a health emergency! And Serena literally emerges from a bush. And it's, it's like, I'm here! I heard you! <laughs> and it's like, it's like, welcome! Would you like something? <laughs> it's, it, I love stuff like that. Um... I th like, I think another fun thing is that she... She's one of, like, three characters in this game where they do the joke of how d how did you find him? And then, when, and then when she, like, goes away, she seemingly, like, vanishes. <laughs> like, without a complete, without a trace at all. I think there's another one of her stories, um, that, uh, like, Sensei's having trouble sleeping. And, like, she, she's like, no, you're going to sleep now. There's no two ways about it. And he goes, all right, well, uh, can you, like, at least keep track of everything? And, like, well, I'm he's like, yep, yep, that's fine, that's fine. Um, and then, like, Sensei goes to sleep. And he wakes up. He's well rested. Uh, the work's all done. And then, he's, and then he goes, hmm. And he goes to check, like, the doors and everything. And everything was locked. <laughs> so he has no clue how Serena got in. <laughs> I I I love I just love that a lot. Uh, she so yeah, she's great. I'm going to give her a. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna give her another ten. I'm gonna give her a ten as well. This is the second ten so far. Uh, I might give a lot of those in, in this. I'm just gonna warn that, because there's, again, a, a lot of characters that are really good. Pina! Uh, she's, she's fun. Um, her whole thing is that she wants to be, uh, <laughs> she wants to be a mobster. But her only gauge on, like, what, what determines a true mobster is, like, 
is like movies of like animated animals like basically like reenacting mafia actions and the like it's very cute it's very fun um as a as a character they're pretty interesting because their whole thing is that they're they're not supposed to move at all so she's like pretty much only used in raids um where like moving is not necessarily a thing that you do often uh but when she like when she stays there uh i need to actually yeah after standing still for 10 seconds she increases her attack speed so increasing attack speed a bunch and then making it so that her attack can be increased uh reloading instantly ignores normal attack delay she ve she like very quickly unloads on enemies and can do a lot of burst damage uh but it all depends on the right timing that you use like her skill um also it depends on like what the the boss is even doing and again you gotta build her um which she's also a one star so it'll take it'll take you a bit but uh she's very good She's very fun as a character, and yeah, I like her. I'll I'll give her a seven. Jury, uh, Jury is <laughs> she is the character that exists in uh pretty much all Japanese media, in which somehow, through just the might of God <laughs> or Satan, anything they cook turns into this Lovecraftian entity. <laughs> and nobody can figure out why. Almost every single one of her stories is about Sensei just trying to figure out what exactly causes, causes her food to, like, morph <laughs> or turn different colors or anything like that. And... While well, some of it makes sense, you know, like, there's the, there's the fact that of, um... I forget what she was cooking, but there was a point where her her thought process is like, oh, I wanted to like shred it. I want to like shred it. Um, I think it was. I think it was either vegetables or cheese. The point is like, I wanted to shred through this quick. Uh, so instead of cutting through it all, I just decided to just shoot my shotgun. At it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I just want. I wanted to boil this thing, uh, but I was worried that it was going to take too long. Uh, so I just cranked it up to max. <laughs> Uh, I don't understand how the kitchen burned down. <laughs> uh, I like her. See, she's very cute. Um, she does her best. She somehow messed up, like, giving orange juice to somebody. And I know that sounds insane. But yes, the act of her just giving orange juice to somebody also ended poorly so yeah i like her uh i don't really use her due to the fact that her, her whole thing is that like she drops poison pancakes um but not everybody actually goes to it and her like if you don't build her uh the damage is pretty low um i've just never actually gotten a chance to try and build her at all so she's you know she's been stuck um but yeah i really do like her um, she also, uh, just on happenstance, ends up being a bit of a handful for the, the other cook, um, uh, which we'll get to shortly, and, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll give her a six. Akari, uh, she is a member of the, um, actually forget what, I think it's just the... Mm, I'm gonna cheat. The Gourmet Research Society, that's right. Um, so she's part of uh, a group of four, and they have, like, this, like, online web show called Eat or Die. <laughs> um, and their whole thing is that, like, they're all foodies. Akari is especially, uh, a big, a big problem, because her whole, her whole thing is that she frequents buffets. Because she can eat as much as she wants. Uh, at, at a low price. The problem is that she has become infamous due to the fact that her her stomach is a black hole. 
<laughs> um, she also eats it. Um, she also does like those like uh, eat you know fifty hamburgers, and if you do, the meal's free. Uh, type of challenges as well because of the fact that her stomach is a bottomless pit. Uh, and she becomes so well known that whenever she's spotted, uh, stores start closing down or saying, oh, we, we, we miraculously ran out of food by the time you got here. <laughs> um, I really like her. Uh, she has sort of like, a, like her whole, like it's, it's sort of weird with her cause she... She, like, happily goes about, um, when it's, like, time to eat or anything. Um, but there's also this, there's also this kind of, like, cynical, like, abhorrent side to her that, like, comes out whenever the, whenever, like, the, the group are doing, um, like, other kinds of research that doesn't just involve eating. She's very, like, her word choices are especially, like, very, like, jarring at times, and it's like, are you... Are you doing okay? <laughs> Is everything okay up here? Um, so yeah, uh, I really like her. She's another pretty standard, um, uh, attacker. You know, she shoots and she has a grenade launcher. Um, but she's really, she's really good despite being so standard. I tend to use her a lot, even though I don't have her, uh, built that all that much. And I actually didn't even notice this. Yeah. Um, the temper jump chance to increase attack by da -da -da when dealing normal attacks. That's interesting. Okay, but yeah, uh, I really like her. Uh, I'll give her a seven. Haruka. Haruka is like what would happen <laughs> if Bernadetta from Fire Emblem Three Houses was a school shooter. <laughs> Her self-esteem is shot. She compares herself to weeds because she says that she is so useless. However, for some reason, she is very adamant. She, I keep, I've used that word a lot today. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, maybe I like the word adamant. <laughs> it is a nice word, but um, she, she's very good at just making C four. And if her, if she didn't, like, if she didn't wait to take orders from, like, her boss, because she's part of a group called Problem Solver. If she didn't wait to take orders from her boss, she probably would just destroy anything that, like, upset her or came between anything that she cared about. Um, so yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a very... It's a very interesting thing to point about it. If Bernadetta was a school shooter. Um, I don't really use her that much, uh, unfortunately. I kind of want to because her her skill, even though this is shotgun blast, it, you just really should be shotgun folly because she unloads like two whole clips <laughs> into, so into somebody as she's just, like, slowly walking towards them. Uh, and it gets, like, increasingly faster with each shot. <laughs> it's a very fun animation to watch. Uh, but yeah, I really like her. Uh, she deserves a lot of love and attention. Uh, despite the fact that she doesn't feel that she deserves any of it. Uh, I really like her. I'll give her an 8. Sarika. Uh, she is part of the... Uh, Abydos foreclosure, foreclosure tax task force. I can talk, ladies and gentlemen. Um, her whole thing is that she 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 works hard at like side jobs and such, but she also falls for very obvious schemes. Um, <laughs> and like py like pyramid schemes and other types of stuff like that because she's like, oh well. If we if we invest in this whole thing that we can we can make back our money tenfold. It's like, it's like, Serica, the name of the thing you're pitching to us is literally called Scam Coin. <laughs> uh, I like that. I really like her a lot. Um, yeah, she's pretty neat. Um, 
she's pretty interesting as a as a character as well. She's kind of like a a different version of um Hasumi, where her whole thing is that she also uh reloads, does a lot of damage, and um yeah, like gets to going. But hers isn't her isn't um dependent on defeating an enemy, but uh it is that kind of like uh, that kind of thing of like reloading, doing more damage. Um and uh baba da boop uh but yeah a lot of her things are like doing damage or increasing that damage um at any point in time so she is really good in raids and also other like fights as well she's really good uh all around um yeah i really like her i give her a seven asuna uh she is part of the uh da, 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 the cnc that's right <laughs> it's a secret organization comprised of four um and they all they all dress up like maids and such and the whole thing is that like they they do clean up jobs but it's both meanings it's like they could either actually clean things up or they can uh take someone out <laughs> and uh, she's really interesting, um, despite how she puts on this kind of, like, uh, airy personality, there's very clearly a, there's, there's very clearly a side to her that she doesn't, uh, show anybody, um, where she's, like, very, like, on top of the, uh, like, on top of the ball, like, in, in ways that, like, the, the, like, characters in the game don't really expect. Um, one in particular is during, like, the, the second chapter of the main story, um, with the, the game development club, where they, they think they're going to get into the, um, like, the, the, the storage room, no, no problem, uh, but then they find her just guarding the door, and it's like, hey, I had a feeling, I had a feeling if I waited here, then somebody would just show up, <laughs> and then, like, she's a major hurdle for, like, a bit. Um, <laughs> and I really like that. Uh, she's also really good in Shiro Kudo, uh, cause her whole thing is that she, she does like a, uh, a dodge, like a tactical slide, um, and she increases her evasion as well as her attack speed, so she's really good at, like, doing burst damage as well. Uh, yeah, I like her. Uh, I'll give her a 7. Naru! Uh, this is this is the leader of the the CNC, and I really like her a lot. Her whole thing is that she does put on this very tough demeanor because she's you know the boss, um, and she is like a she 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 practically is like a like Yakuza member. Like the jacket's not for show, um, but I just really I just really the, like the fact that when she's not being like imposing and like. Uh, above all violent uh she does have like this really chill side to her that i just enjoy seeing a lot and it's nice seeing um her like have this sort of like very cool demeanor about her um but then also like if something annoys her then she's not she does not hesitate to just like start firing at people uh but yeah i like her i like her a lot her her thing is is that she just you know fires a lot she, like she come become she gets angry, and then if you like attack while she's angry, then it does even more damage. Uh, yeah, does even more damage. So you know, uh, it's nice, it's fun. I like it a lot. Um, I'm gonna give her a, I'm gonna give her a seven. I would probably give her uh like another ranking, but they actually don't, they, they don't use her as much as I would like. Um. She does has a she has has a very good moment in chapter two where it's between her and uh, an artist. Um, but besides that, there's just her story, and I I want her to to show up more. I really like when she um she interacts with the cast. Ayane, this is the um support and tactical uh technology girl <laughs> at uh Abydos. Um, she basically tries to uh, keep uh. <laughs> the the foreclosure task force on track i of love it when the phone rings all the time when you're trying to record stuff sorry about that but yeah she's she tries to keep the group together um to varying success and uh she 
she she gets very frustrated with them pretty often uh but she 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 tries to help out uh she helps out quite a lot actually she probably does more uh overall than probably some of the members do uh single-handedly um yeah her she she's a pretty good healer she does like aoe the thing is that it has a kind of a delay um when you do it so oftentimes uh a character might move out of the way by the time the healing actually gets to them uh so you have to plan around that but besides that she's pretty good um i like her i'll give her a i'll give her a seven maki i really like her she's part of uh veritas as well she is a graffiti artist uh, as well as a like a pretty smart hacker um and i <laughs> I think my favorite uh, part about uh, my favorite like fun bit in her story was when she hacked uh, someone's uh, cashier, like like cash register, to um to have it play. I forget what it's called in this world, but it's basically Doom. And she explains the the thing about how oh like there's this whole thing like you can put Doom on everything you know smart fridges calculators what have you. <laughs> um and like Sensei goes oh that's cool you're gonna change it back right <laughs> uh, and yeah I like her a lot um she's she's very cool uh she is pretty much uh her she pretty much shines in raids as well uh she does like lots of damage uh, but her thing is that she, she, her, like, this, like, to one enemy, and it's, like, it, it's very, like, stationary. Like, once you do it, she just, like, unloads onto an enemy before, like, doing anything else. Um, so, yeah, it's, she's, since she's more focused on, like, single target stuff, and she does so much damage that it would pretty much kill any, like, normal infantry, uh, she's pretty much reserved for raids and such. Uh, I like her a lot. I'm going to give her a 8. Uh, Hanai. She's the other uh, medic at uh, Trinity. And her thing is uh, a bit, is like quite a bit different. Uh, this recovers HP over time instead of just being an all at once. Which, depending on the, uh, depending on what you're doing, could either be like a good thing or uh, not as useful, um, so yeah, uh, I think the first time I actually ended up using her for, was for, um, I forget the name of it, but it's the, it's the, the boss that's underneath Trinity, um, I'll put, like, the, the name on screen, but, um, yeah, she, uh, she's pretty neat, um, she doesn't really have, uh, too much to her. She is kind of like another, like, make sure, you know, everybody's healthy. Uh, but her whole thing, <laughs> I think, if I remember correctly, her whole thing is that she, she has, like, outlandish, um, like, uh, cures and such. She's like, oh, if I'll give you even, if I give you even more medicine, then that means it'll work twice as fast, right? It's like, I think just one dose is fine. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I like stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'll give her a six. Chise. Uh, she's really good. She's probably the first mystic type attacker that you're going to get, if not Asuna. Um... Uh, but yeah, she's got a grenade launcher. She shoots, like, blue fire. She's pretty cool. She doesn't really have a presence in, um, story, though. And the the only thing that you get from her personal story is that she's a bit of a celebrity at, um, Hiakio, Hiakiako. Um, so yeah, there's just, like, a bunch of people that's just like, oh, she she's, like, considered an idol there. Um, and, like, so many people are, like, you know very weird <laughs> about her and like sensei has to make sure like she's not getting harassed and stuff like that um yeah i would like to i like to know like more 
uh, about her and like who she who she knows and like any of the type of people that she interacts with. But we haven't really had too much about that. Um, uh, she also looks like she looks cool. She like the the demon horns. It's a re it's really nice. Um, but yeah, I'll give her a. I'll give her a seven. Hair. Uh, this is another member of uh, Veritas. Um, uh, her whole thing is just technology, technology, technology. <laughs> yeah, she's like a she's like an engineer kind of girl. Um, likes to make sure everything's like uh, working as efficiently as efficiently as possible. Um, she also doesn't really understand a lot of like normal people things, quote unquote, uh, due to the fact that she works so much, uh, and she knows like you know code more than street smarts, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I like her. Uh, her whole thing is that she stuns. I haven't used her at all uh, due to the fact that you know y <laughs> Yoshimi has stun um but i heard that like her stun's pretty potent uh when you get it like really high um like maxed out and all that kind of thing so who knows maybe i'll, I'll figure out um uh, her whole thing one day um man yeah, as of now she is a six junko this is another member of the the gourmet research um uh, group and <laughs> she's like the like the bratty one she always wants to like uh, get sweets or um, any kind of thing like that uh, but a, a, a common like a running gag with her is that whenever she does try to eat something something always happens to it <laughs> even her um, EX school EX skill is that like she's about to eat like dumplings but then somebody just shoots it out of her hands and then she just unloads <laughs> with both of her guns um, so yeah, it's, she's fun. Um, she, she, she pretty much, like, anytime, uh, the research club is doing anything, she kind of plays, like, the straight man, but it's more just, like, the, I can't believe you guys are doing something this stupid and silly. <laughs> um, so yeah, I like her. Uh, she gets a six as well. Kayako, I really like her. She's also part of Problem Solver. Uh, and she's she's just very cool. I really like her look. Um, her her whole thing is that she's she's the kind of... St there's a lot of straight men uh, in <laughs> this game. Due to the fact that it is a, it is a very humorous uh, game. Uh, so you gotta have like the, the kind of normal person in almost every group. Um, until you don't, <laughs> which we'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I really like her a lot. Uh, she, she's not only just like a really good character, um, in terms of like her interactions with the other problem solver members and just her general vibe, uh, in her main, her, uh, her, her personal story where it's like she... You know, denounces the fact that despite the fact that she is a punk girl and she looks pretty threatening, she's not, like... <laughs> she doesn't try to, like, be mean to someone for no reason. Um, and she does have, like, a very soft side since, like, her... Her recollection is all about her, um... Like, making sure that a cat is okay. Uh, because it's, like, homeless, so she got a box for it and, like, takes it food every now and then. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very nice. She has uh, fear <laughs> as her as her as her main mechanic. Uh, any of her types of attacks uh, have the have the chance to inflict fear, which makes the enemy run away in terror. Um, this is this can be both a good or bad thing depending on uh, what you're trying to do. Um, but above all, it makes it so that the enemy stops trying to shoot at you for like a bit. So you know it's good for that. Um, yeah, I really like her a lot. I'm going to give her a... Yeah, I'm going to give her a 10. I like her I like her very, very much. Akane! This is another member of CNC. Uh... As you can see by the dynamite, uh... <laughs> she's very, 
very, very good at her job. Um, she, <laughs> there's, a, there's, so, <laughs> there's so much I actually want to get into uh, about her that I just enjoy. But looking at the time, we're already 57 minutes into this, and uh, just, a, just a showcase. Um, you know, we looked at all those, so here's Akane. And, uh, yeah, we still got quite a bit to go, so, you know, let me, like, maybe not have you all uh, watch a super, super long video for April Fool's. Um, I mean, like, let's try and speed this up a bit. Uh, I very much enjoy her her whole thing. She's very good as a uh, character. Um, she she's very good in raids. Does like defense. Um, she drops defense a lot. That's a, that's the other thing I forgot to um, talk about with Maki is that she also uh, decreases defense. Uh, so Akane and uh, Maki tend to be used a lot in raids due to the fact they're you know they have defense downs. Um, yeah, uh, she's not very good outside of raids because of the fact that she's very single attacker, doesn't have, like, AoE or anything like that. Uh, and, of course, the defense down doesn't uh, do really anything if you kill the infantry immediately. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but she's, she, <laughs> she's very, very fun, uh, as a character. I really enjoy her a lot. I'm gonna give her an 8. Fuka, she is the uh, she's the other cafeteria girl, and uh, she's the person that gets put through the ringer probably more than anybody else in this game because almost think like think about that think about this for a second. She has Jury as like her co um, custodian, and then she has the the gourmet research club at the same school. And they oftentimes go to the cafeteria and, like, basically take her hostage. Uh, and, like, either take food from, like, the fridge and other types of stuff. They, like, quote-unquote, research it. Um, or they, like, basically, like, berate her with, uh, just random things of, like... It's like, who's to, who's to say is the, the perfect way to enjoy sushi? <laughs> It's saying, I, de I decree that we we investigate this further. <laughs> um, and yeah, she this this poor this poor girl because she does she does things so she's like the like apparently like the best cook. Uh, but like oftentimes uh, she ends up falling behind because she has to deal with all you know everything. So there's instances where, like, the people at Gehenna, uh, like, uh, there's, like, a food shortage or what have you. Uh, and she always gets blamed for all of it. Like, she she always gets, like, the brunt of it. Because, like, it's like, well, you're the head cafeteria lady. You're supposed to keep, she, you're supposed to keep everything down packed. Um, and then, like, it doesn't help that, like, after the, the orange juice incident that I brought up with Jerry, they cut the funding <laughs> for... for for the, the the cafeteria so like she had to start like uh paying out of her own pocket to make sure that um like they get all the food that they need to feed everybody and stuff it's it's this poor girl um she's also really good in the shirokudo raid um she 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 drops down a um a giant thing of stew and like much like uh Serica's, it makes it so anybody nearby walks to it and they can avoid damage she heals um, she also does against, uh, she also does crit resist when you get her to three star. I haven't yet, unfortunately. I'm, I was gonna say I'm close, but I'm not that close. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like her a lot. Um, sorry about that. Yet again, uh, she gets an eight. <laughs> Nanomi, this is another member of the foreclosure task force. And, um, I can't... Okay. Ah, uh, this is weird. Ah. Uh, yeah, I can't really. But you could see here, like, there's a number on her shoe. So, the thing is about, like, C and C is that all of them have numbers, like, on their, like, equipment at some point. Uh, and, like, they're all numbered at, like, one... They're, like, one, two, three, and five. But no... But, like... We've never seen the fourth member of CNC, 
And Nanomi is the only character that has a four just randomly on her shoes. So people have theorized that maybe she's like a, a member of CNC that that transferred to Abydos. Um, but we have yet to see if that is actually the case. Uh, besides that, she's like the free two-star that they give you um, to start off the game. And like they, they give you like the, the necessities to get her to three-star. And like rank her up and her skills and all that court, all that sort of thing. Thing is though, is that she's kind of the hardest character act to actually like get her stars up because she's not in the pull. She's not. You can't pull copies of this character and actually like get more of her shards. So the only way that you get shards is by either doing um, the lessons or you buy the shards uh, at the shop. So that actually makes her like a bit tough to to max out compared to other characters. Um, but she is like the only one so far that like you have to worry about that sort of thing. So at least it's not like a at least it's not like a, a huge issue. Uh, but yeah, she's really great. She does like AOE damage. Um, she's very strong. I very much like her a lot. She's like the uh, she's kind of like motherly. Uh, member of the group. Uh, she had the the very fun suggestion during the the uh, foreclosure meeting of what do we do next. Uh, <laughs> her her suggestion was that everybody at Abydos become an idol group, <laughs> and they go to superstardom and they gain enough money to like save the school, and that was very funny. I enjoyed that. Um, I'll give her a... I'll give her a 7. Uh, Mutsuki. She's, she's a member of Problem Solver. Uh, she's like the... I guess you could say she's kind of second in command. Um, she's odd. Like, she's, she's very, like, destructive. Uh, she's also kind of school shootery, if that's even a... <laughs> that's even a thing. Uh, it's, she always has this kind of thing of, like, there's something in her bag, uh, and there's a point where Sensei's alone with it, and it moves. <laughs> like, it j like, it twitches, kind of. So, you know. Uh, what's in the bag? Um, but yeah, she's, she's, <laughs> she's kind of insane. Um... Apparently, she was best friends with the leader of Problem Solver, like, uh, ever since they were enrolled in Gehenna, and as a result, she, she kind of knows what buttons to push, and, uh, kind of dismantle, uh, that, the whole persona that, um, the leader kind of has going for. Uh, so yeah, she's kind of neat. I don't really use her, um, too often. Uh, but she is kind like, of pretty useful. She like drops some mines and all that, all that kind of thing. She she's she explosive girl, <laughs> uh, even more so than Haruka. Um, but yeah, I'll give her a I'll give her a seven. Sarugi, I very much enjoy her. Uh, she's also part of the Justice Task Force. Uh, but her whole thing is that, as you could tell, she's kind of crazy. <laughs> She's very destructive, uh, absolute maniac, uh, but, uh, despite her, like, explosive, brutal, violent, like, ta uh, t uh, tenacity, she also, like, very much wants to have a normal, like, high school experience, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, like, she constantly asks about, like, what is, like, it's like, she, she, she constantly wonders if she's, like, uh, <laughs> it's kind of like an old man's way of putting it, but, like, she, she kind of wonders if she, like, she's spending her youth properly, uh, because she, the way that she sees is that she's always working, she never really has time to, like, do normal, um, high schooler things. So, whenever she is, like, able to do, like, stuff like go to the mall or, like, go to a cafe with a group of, with a, a group of students and such, 
Uh, she doesn't really know what to do, but she still, but she still just enjoys the fact that she's there. The problem is that like her way of enjoying herself is to just laugh. <laughs> So she just ends up scaring everybody else <laughs> because, like, she's completely silent and then just starts laughing maniacally. Um, so yeah, that's very fun. I very much like that. Um, she had a very, she also had, a, like, a very, uh, gap moe, I guess. I think that's the term for it, uh, with the, the recent summer event where, uh, one, she talked a lot, which was very interesting because normally she, like, makes grunts and... Uh, isn't really, um, she, uh, isn't used to, like, speaking her mind too much, but she, she, like, talked a lot during her, um, personal story. Um, I guess I'll, like, I guess I'll kind of get into that now so that I don't have to, like, talk about it when I get to her, like, swimsuit version. Um, but yeah, there's a very fun, there's a very funny kind of, like, uh depressing bit where like she she remarks that everybody on the beach left because they were talking about some sort of siren so she's been scouring the beach to try and look for it but she hasn't found it yet <laughs> and sensei doesn't have the heart to tell her <laughs> uh so yeah i i very much enjoy her uh she's a kind of like she's another like reload um uh focused character uh well the way that her thing is is that like whenever she um whenever she like defeats somebody she heals the thing is that she's like she doesn't have like very good attack speed like she takes she has like a long wind up and like uh takes a bit to fire again so um you know she's good in in burst damage not so good in uh overarching um but she is, she is, like, a very good character. I very much enjoy her. Uh, I'm going to give her a... I'm going to give her a 9. Uh, okay. So, this is Emmy. Um, she is from the Super Phenomenal Task Force. I think she is, so far, the only member. Um, so... Uh, she's a, she's a tank, much like Yuka and Tsubaki. Uh, she, she has the, the kind of healing thing that Hanae has, uh, over time. Uh, but she does not have provoke. Um, she, she attacks in a fan shape so every now and then so she can, like, do a little bit of AoE. Um, and, you know, she, she increases her uh, crowd control resistance when she's at low health. So, you know, that helps. Uh, but the thing is... Uh, yeah. I, w I was very... I wanted to find out in her personal story. Is there a reason that she looks like this? And the only thing that I can surmise is that... No. <laughs> but she apparently gets hot often. I do not care for this design. <laughs> not to mention the fact that, like... I, like I, I'm pretty sure this is just a me thing. But the thought of a zipper on your, your nipples... Just un like it make it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the thought of like opening and closing a zipper on like near your nipple because I feel like that could go very wrong very quickly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is. I honestly, I will honestly say that this is probably my least favorite design in the game. I consider it to be the worst one. Um, and to be fair, every other character is so well designed that even with this design being like the way it is, it doesn't like bog down like the whole roster or anything. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm gonna give her a four. <laughs> Uh, Sumire. Uh, she is, uh, 
Ah, the Athletics Training Club, of course. Uh, but yeah, she... She likes training. She likes, you know, working out. She, uh, her whole thing is, like, trying to get a good training regimen going. And she has, uh, Sensei to help out. Um... Her skill's kind of weird in the sense that, like, she does, like... She does, she does damage in, like, an AoE sense, but she kind of, like, uh, does dodge rolls in between each shot. She fires three times, and then she, like, jumps back to where she was. So, she can't really be used, uh, to avoid any, to avoid much, uh, in raids because she, like, just jumps back to where she was. And, uh... Because she's not really a... She, she's not really all that bulky. Um, if she, like, runs out and, like, you know, does that, she, there's a chance that, like, all the focus could go away from the tank to her, and she just ends up eating a, a, a crap ton of damage uh, real quick. Uh, so I don't really use her too much. Um, I have tried to use her quite a bit, and, like, almost... Uh, every time I've not been, like, that satisfied with her. But, uh, I do just like her. She's, like, a very, like, very devoted, uh, to training and exercising and all that sort of thing. Um, and she very much means well. So, yeah, I'll give her a, I'll give her a six. Utaha! Uh, she is the member of the... Uh, what is it? The Engineering Club. She's, uh, she's alongside with, uh, Kotaro, Kotori, um, in that sense. Uh, I think I forgot to mention that. Uh, but yeah, uh, her, her, Kotori, and one other girl, uh, they, they just, like, make stuff, uh, over at Millennium, and... She, I like her a lot. Her, she's very passionate about, like, her, like, um... Uh, like, technology, like, just technology in general, and, like, uh, her creations and all that sort of thing. And she also, like, has this very fun, uh, sort of, like, sales pitch, like, <laughs> uh, side to her, where, like, anytime she, like, gets the idea to make a new invention, uh, she has, like, <laughs> she's like, you know, the, th the problem about, like, uh, getting a pizza with no sauce is that sometimes you don't, you can't even find the sauce anywhere. So that's why we're going to model the guns that we that we all have to have a sauce dispenser, <laughs> um, which that backfires very funnily uh, <laughs> uh, in uh, one of the side stories. Um, yeah, she has a very interesting and unique thing where she summons turrets. Uh, I very much enjoy this. It's and I don't have her, like, ranked up, uh, quite a lot, uh, or geared up well, but they do, they do work very well, and I'm pretty sure if you get her up, like, even higher than, you know, one, <laughs> then she'll end up doing, like, quite a lot, uh, but I really, really like her, um, I like a lot of characters in this game, if you couldn't tell, uh, I'll give her a seven. Irie! She's another member of the Sweets Club. Her specialty is ice cream. She likes ice cream a lot. Do you see the ice cream? She likes ice cream. She enjoys ice cream. There's even an ice cream, like, brooch thing on, on her bag. Um, but yeah, uh, even her attack is that she drops a, a giant scoop of ice cream. Uh, I think with the cone, too. Um, onto the enemy. And, uh, yeah, it slows them down for a bit. Um, I haven't used her, unfortunately, as you can tell. But she has one of the best recollections in the game to me, because it's a very just beautiful, uh, scene of, like, them at the riverbank with, like, the cherry blossoms falling in the background, and it's, it's very, uh, pleasing. She's very cute. Um, she's friends with Yoshimi, uh, like, just, a just general, just nice girl. I also forgot, like, the hair accessories are also ice cream so yeah she likes ice cream a lot <laughs> uh but yeah unfortunately i've just never used her um so yeah uh i'll give her a i'll give her a, a seven though uh she's zuko she is the member of the um oh god the festivals operations department um 
Uh, Pina also kind of helps out with that quite a bit. Um, but yeah, she's like the, she's like a maid at a, at like a cafe that they run, and she she, <laughs> she oftentimes like puts on like the charms to like woo the customers and the like. But then whenever Sensei's around, uh, Sensei's just like, you know, you can just act yourself around me. You don't have to do the, the extra, the extra stuff. And, like, at, at, start, at the start, she was like, I guess that means I'm gonna have to try the different approaches. And it took until, like, I think, like, the third, uh, personal story that she very much realizes that Sensei's not, you know saying that just to say that he really wants her to just be herself um and she kind of has this sort of like uh like quandary about what is the real her <laughs> which is uh again social commentary uh, <laughs> but it's uh, it's kind of neat i really like that like they they, they tap into that quite a bit um her thing was very useful for Shiro Kudo Raid, because she also makes cover. Uh, the thing, the added thing is that she does a little bit of damage, and that she also increases crit for everybody. Uh, so she's pretty nice to have. Uh, her cover is a lot more bulky than, um, Shimoko. Um, so it can actually take, uh, damage. Uh, it has, like, it's, I guess you could say it basically has its own health bar on its own before it's destroyed. So, yeah. Uh, she's pretty good. I like her. I'll give her a 7. Uh, Sheena. I really like her a lot. Uh, her, she's part of the task force as well. Uh, and she's like the, she's like the, the president. Um. Of the, the, the foreclosure group. Um. Uh, I think she's also technically the only member of the student council. And she's also president of that because... Uh, you know, there's only five people at this school now. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really interested in her. Because, like, besides the fact that, like, she has this whole, like, demeanor of, like, she, she's, like, constantly tired. Uh, she acts like a grumpy old man talking about, it's like, oh, my age is catching up to me. It's like, you're 17! <laughs> uh, but... Uh, they tapped into, like, the, in, like, chapter one, that she has, like, a very violent past. And, like, when she was, like, younger, like, she was, like, a freshman, and she had, like, shorter hair, and she was very angry all the time, and was very violent, and, um, like, something, something about that changed, and now she's kind of, like, the, like, the lax, uh, girl she is now. Uh, but there are hints of that old side of her, like, that comes back every now and again. And I'm just like, what happened to you? <laughs> I want to know more. Uh, uh, she also has an older sister, apparently. Which was something that I've, like, it's something that I actually kind of, like, um, I always think about with this game. Because you only see, like, the students and everything. But you don't really hear about, like, families that much. And the fact that she's, like, uh, like the only one that has a sibling that isn't, that, like, isn't, like, a twin that also goes to the school is interesting. Because then the question is, like, well, what happened to her? Like, how come she's not around? So, yeah, she, she brings... A lot of questions to this world that already has a lot of questions uh, as it is and I very much enjoy it I can't wait to learn more um, she's also a pretty good tank she makes herself like a shield much like um, uh, Yuka uh, she can also inflict stun with her attacks which is pretty good yeah she also heals herself a bit like Tsubaki so she's kind of like a mix of both um, she just doesn't have provoke uh, but yeah, she's like a really good tank. I really like using her. I just really like her in general. Um, and an and added like cute factor is that she also really likes marine life. Um, so her her whole uh, her recollection is them going to the aquarium after they won tickets, 
which even the fa even the <laughs> the method in which they got those tickets is hilarious. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give her a I'm gonna give her a ten. I like her a lot. Aru, 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 this absolute dork. <laughs> So this is the leader of Problem Solver. Um, and her whole thing is that she wants to be like... She, she wants to be like a, a oppressive vigilante that's out for out for herself and her, her, her workers. And they're, they're doing all that they can. Uh, like, they're, they're, they take no... They take no prisoner. They, they do the thing. The boo, the boo, boo. Row, row, fight the power. The reality is that she is putting on a farce uh, multiple times over. <laughs> her only real skill is the fact that she can have like a decent poker face in the right situations uh but she nervously gets through pretty much every single circumstance that she either brings upon herself or uh gets involved in and problem solver in general are just a bunch of bumbling goofballs but her in her in particular, when she like tries to act cool but is like constantly make is like constantly <laughs> making a fool of herself in instances, I just very much enjoy her quite a lot. Um despite that though, she's really good in like uh pretty much anything. Like her her uh EX skill is that she like shoots a how it almost kinda reminds me of like the mind darts from Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Like out of her sniper rifle, and like when it attaches on to somebody, uh, after a couple seconds, it explodes in an AOE. So it's really good. Like it's really useful in like two different um uh, instances. She also has like just pretty good damage. Um, uh, just in general. So yeah, I really like her a lot. Uh, I'm gonna give her a nine. <laughs> Midori. Uh, this is one of the members of the, I think it's just the Game Development Club? Yeah, the Game Development Department, excuse me, um, at Millennium. And uh, along with her twin sister, they both help um, uh, Yuzu uh, with like making old-style JRPGs and other types of stuff like that. Uh, they very much are a, a fun group. Um... She's the more reserved, uh, artsy girl, while her twin, uh, is the more, uh, outlandish. <laughs> and, uh, I think, I think her sister does the music? Something like that. But she, uh, her sister also, like, um, writes for all the stories and such. But yeah, uh, the thing that's so, yeah, the thing that's so neat about these two is that, uh, they they buff each other if both of them are in the same like team. So like depending on like what they do, um, like depending on if you have both of them, they'll have like uh, additional things to like their one their last uh, their sub skill and um, their their ex skill, which work very good in tandem together. Uh, they can do some really major damage together. Uh, the thing about that, though, is that while they are good, like, by themselves, you you kind of always feel like you want to have both of them. And as raids have been going on, they've actually been making it so that it's less... Like, you, you can less easily slot these two together. Um, so you gotta, so you kind of have to wonder, it's like, uh, which one do I... Is it which one do you, <laughs> do you go for? Because um, as you see... Uh, Midori is not so good at like um, uh, like cities and stuff like that, but Momoi is. Um, and let me double check to make sure. Uh, yeah, scenario writer. Um, so yeah, uh, I very much enjoy these two a lot. Uh, they they have very fun at antics. Momoi is an absolute like salty gamer. <laughs> Like, like, completely. Like, she rage quits all the time. Even though, even the way that Sensei even meets all of them. 
is that Momoi, like, threw their Game Boy outside the window and it bonked Sensei on the head when he was, like, approaching the building. Uh, and, like, even with that, Midori is actually concerned for Sensei's health. Momoi is more concerned about if the Game Boy broke. <laughs> Uh, I, I very much, lo I love these two so much. Um, they both get eights. Uh, Mashiro. Uh, so this character, is, she's part of the, the Justice Task Force as well, and she's kind of, like, I kind of like her a bit, but, like, her whole thing is that she just, like, she, she constantly wonders about what what does justice mean? Like, what, what, what is true justice? And, like, she wants to... She wants to figure that out so that she can properly, um... Do her job to the best of her abilities. Uh... The thing is, though, is that's kind of, like... All to her, as of now. Um... I would like to know, like, more... Like, to see more with her. And, um, she does interact with, like, the other characters really well. Uh, as evidenced by, like, the recent summer event. Um. But yeah, I, I've, I, I kind of like her. I want to like her more. But she just doesn't have a lot to her as of right now. Um. Her skills are pretty neat. However, it's this thing right here. That, uh, is a kind of a... Uh, I actually don't know. Yeah, this percentage doesn't really change. Uh, so... It is kind of a gamble with her of, like... Like, trying to go all in on damage. But there's a, there's a literal coin flip about whether or not you're going to do even more damage to, um, the enemy. So, yeah, she kind of, she kind of has a lot... She, she has quite a bit going against her, but I, there's so much potential with her that I don't want to, like... I don't want to, like, go, like, throw, throw it to the dogs! She doesn't care. Uh, she doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give her a... I'm going to give her a six. Izuna! Uh, so, Izuna's whole thing is that she's also... Um, I think she's part of... No, she's part of the Ninjutsu Research Club. That's right. Um, and again, I think she's, like, her, she's the only member, um, so far. And, her, that, yeah, her whole thing is that she wants to be a ninja. Uh, and she wants to, she wants to follow the ninja's code. She wants to do all the types of things that ninjas do. And she wants to be the best gosh darn ninja, she, like, there's ever been. And she's really adorable. I very much enjoy her. <laughs> uh... I think there's like a fun I think there's like a fun thing of like um there's a point where she wants to watch like an, an eight hour movie marathon on like of just ninjas with Sensei. And like she doesn't point out the fact that it's eight hours until he's already there and he's like, Oh, that's kind of a bit and then she looks disappointed and it's like the the only time that she's that she's looked sad in the entire game. <laughs> And Sensei, like, can't. He, <laughs> he can't, he can't at any point in time, like, like, have this smile go away. So despite the fact that he, like, had work or something, to, like, in the morning, or, like, had stuff to do, he was like, Oh, you know, I can, I can, I can, I can, yeah, I can, I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's, let's watch the movies. And it's like, she, like, gets happy again. <laughs> I love that so much. Um, and yeah, pr pr protect the smile because she she's so she she is naive, but it's that naivete that you can't help but just enjoy um, because it's just so precious. Uh, she's also just really good as a a mystic attacker. Uh, her ex skill was like pretty much designed for Shudo Kudo. In which uh, she she increases her attack speed, but she also can move to uh, anywhere in the area of effect that she gets, um, and like she does pretty good damage, um, and has uh, you know yeah even more damage when she's using her ex skill. So yeah, she's really good. Uh, I like her, and 
yeah, I want to see I want to see her interact more and like learn even more things about being ninja. Um, I'm gonna give her an eight. Aris. So Aris is an android that uh, Midori and Momoi found in like the ruins of a um, segmented off part of uh, Kivotos, and like initially, she, like she didn't like remember anything. She had like zero knowledge. Uh, she couldn't even really speak all that much. Uh, besides, like, you know, basic computer lingo and all that kind of thing. Um, but then, uh, Midori, is either Midori or Momoi, like, handed her, like, um, no, 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 I think she actually, like, like, inspected it herself, and she's like, well, what's this? It's like, oh, it's a video game. Video game? Uh, and, like, they had her play it. Yeah, it was the game that they had actually made, um, and... She ended up really liking it. The thing was, though, is that they then proceeded to throw, like, pretty much every old-school JRPG at her. It's like, it's like, no, you gotta play Secret of Mana. It's like, oh, you gotta play Romancing Saga. You gotta... Like, they literally go through, like, the classic JRPG list. And it's like, no, you have to play these. You have to play all of these. Uh, and as a result... Because she was so impressionable at that point in time... Literally, the only reason that she can speak, like, uh, basic human sentences is because of all the JRPGs she played. That being said, all of the things that she speaks about are basically JRPGs. Like, she'll make, like, chimes, like, da-da-da-da, bum da bum like, that stuff like that. Um, she'll, like, refer to, like, uh, scary people as, like, a raid boss or <laughs> stuff like that. And, like, she ju she talks like she's a JRPG, like, character. And I really enjoy that. Also, you may have noticed the railgun. <laughs> uh, due to the fact that, you know, Android, uh, she has complete super strength and all that sort of thing. I just enjoy the fact that it was the engineer club that was working on this thing uh, because they wanted to try, they wanted to A, see if they could do it, and B, wanted to see if they could actually make like a full on like spaceship. But they did not, but they found out that they did not have the funding for it. Um, so they only got to make the, the cannon for it. And they. <laughs> The way that it's like, the way Aris is just like, this is Excalibur. This is Excalibur. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, you know what? Sure, if you can, if you can take that thing, then I guess we'll give it to you. And then she lifts it without any, <laughs> any, like, uh, concern or what have you. And then she's like, I'm the chosen one. <laughs> I love her so much. I cannot express how much I enjoy this character. Um, she is probably like one of the best characters in this game. Uh, she's also like insane in terms of damage. Like her thing is that she does require a bit of setup. Like uh, after uh, a certain amount of time, she in increases the energy charge. And when it's maxed up to two, uh, you, it does double the damage uh, as of... Um, her EX skill does double the damage, and it's just really just oh, she's so good. <laughs> she's she's not only just good as a attacker, she's so good as a character. Like design wise, it's so like out out of just all over the place. Like I can even show her hair reaches the floor. <laughs> like. <laughs> It's so ridiculous, but I also just enjoy it so much. I, uh, she's a 10, like, just straight up. Um, Saya. Uh, this one's actually pretty interesting. So she's from, uh, Shehangji. And I think the only other character from that is Shun, which I do not have. Um, so yeah. She's interesting. Her whole thing is that she conducts, like, scientific experiments and such. Um, but all of them go wrong. 
<laughs> pretty much all of them go wrong. There was a there was a point in her personal story where she tried to um, she tried to make it so that uh, a a uh, like like they ne like somebody will never have to worry about like hair loss um, since they took some and he basically turned into a dog. <laughs> Like, hair just sprouted all over his body. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, don't worry, I can I can fix this uh, somehow. <laughs> um, she she tried to make a... Like, her whole thing is that she try, she's trying to make a, like, a immortality, like, elixir. Um, she, I don't think she's actually explained why she's so she's so like fixated on making that, but that's like her, her, her like that's the goal that she's constantly striving for, um, and pretty much all attempts to like do that negative. <laughs> um, so yeah, I she's really she's really neat. I like her. Um, as you'd expect, her whole thing is that she throws like, um. Uh, poison <laughs> like poison gas that like stays um and i think it actually can inflict poison on to the the enemy um it might i'm actually i actually forget if it can or can't um i don't use her too terribly much because i only just got her from um i got her relatively recently like a month ago uh from the uh the the shop um so yeah I really like her. Uh, I want to see more of her. Um, I give her a seven. Nadolka. Uh, this is the. Oh, she's just a student. She's not from like any um, group or anything. Um, that doesn't feel right. I feel like she's actually part of a group. It just doesn't say. Um, yeah. So she, her whole thing is that she actually likes. Um, she likes spying on people, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, and she likes spying on people of interests, and the that actually ends up getting her like kicked, like temporarily kicked out of the school, uh, and like put into like a detention, like off, to, like off to the side. Uh, but then like the person in charge forgot about her, <laughs> so that's that's unfortunate. But, um, when Sensei shows up, uh, sh Sensei ends up becoming the new obsession for Nadoka, and there's a really good moment where she's, like, on the roof of a building, like, spying on the shawl building, and is like, mm, Sensei went to the bathroom, like, 20 seconds ago, but I don't really see him anywhere. I wonder if he... And then, like, Sensei just taps her on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the humor in this game. I'm just gonna say that. I, like... I know that there's so many... Like, there's so many gotcha games out. And, you know, there's probably quite a lot of these games where people just... They they breeze through the story. Because, like, they don't care. They just want the cute girls. And they, like... The gameplay is just, you know, a way to get more premium currency so they can pull for even more cute girls. I get that. But Blue Archive is really great. I love it so much. Um, it's it's humor, it's characters, all of it. I just enjoy it so very much. And the thing I also appreciate so much is just how many moments of heart that this game has. Because even though that like in her personal story she gets apprehended for spying on Sensei, um, and you know basically gets put in a <laughs> in a gulag. Um, it, the the way that their thing ends is that there's a meteor shower, and Sensei pulls every bit of oh, like all the strings of Matchable to make it so that she can actually uh should like be at the top of the shawl building and witness that meteor shower, since it's not gonna come back for like another forty or like forty or sixty or th or like maybe eighty years maybe, um. And, like, there was going to be, like, a, there, it, like, it was cloudy all day. So, like, she wouldn't be able to see it from her normal spot. So, Sensei did everything in his power to make sure that, um, she could see it. And, like, uh, during it, they see, like, a shooting star. And it's like, oh, make a wish. Um, 
And she basically goes, you know, I don't need a wish. Because this moment right now is like enjoying the 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 majesty of the cosmos with like you is more than anything I could ever wish for. And I that's that's so sweet. I love stuff like that. Ah. <sighs> Unfortunately, <laughs> she's not really used um, due to the fact that she... The main thing that she, like, increases is accuracy. Accuracy's not really something that's, like, a problem in, in most of the game. Like, there, of course, you will, like, miss with your shots and such. But... Uh, there's there's only like very specific instances in where you encounter enemies that have high evasion or you like it's a PvP thing where um, you're going against Tsubaki and you want to make sure that like your hits actually hit her um, Besides that though, she unfortunately doesn't get used at all uh, So yeah, that's a bit of a shame, but uh, despite that I very much enjoy her as a character and I feel like that, like, her as herself uh, overrides the fact that she's not really used quite a lot. So I'm going to give her a 9. Azusa. This edgelord <laughs> is one of the members of the makeup uh, work club. Uh... The part of the reason that she gets put in the makeup work club is that um, she she ended up in a standstill with justice task members after there was like an altercation between her and another student and like they chased her down. Uh, they were at a standstill for about I think it was like two hours because she kept tear gassing everybody uh, that tried to go after her and she had like a gas mask so she could still like survey through all that stuff and keep like avoiding them until she basically ran out <laughs> it was literally like a war of attrition <laughs> trying to apprehend her uh and then like beside like alongside her just not having good like grades in general she gets brought into um the the makeup work club i very much love her a lot because despite how like you you can sort of see it from here, and you can like see it a bit more if I do it like this. She has like writing on her her gun. Her gun's writing it has Latin on it, and if I remember correctly, it translates roughly to like remember the futility of life or something like that. And then you go, okay, that's kind of edgy. All of her skills, <laughs> like like her, well, she's not all. Two of them are Latin. I forget actually what it translates to. I'll probably put that on screen. But like, she's the kind of she, she. Her whole thing is that she finds life to be a futil a futilitous like effort. So why bother? <laughs> and the funniest thing in the world is that. Uh, all the characters in this game, uh, they have, like, they have, like, their student ID, and it says, like, their hobbies and such. Azusa has no hobbies. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> she, she has no hobbies. So her personal story is Sensei. Trying to teach her how to have fun. <laughs> and of course, she doesn't get it. <laughs> She's a, like, Sensei tries to let it be. It's like, he's like, well, you know, it's not like everything doesn't have to be so coordinated and planned. It's like, sometimes you do something fun just for the heck of it. And then she's like, that seems like a waste. <laughs> I don't understand. I very I very much enjoy her a lot. And her like slowly trying to uh understand how to be a normal person. 
is some of the like it's some of the most fun uh i've had just like reading through all this stuff because yeah not to mention like her her god dang like the summer event starts with her and hifumi uh stealing a tank <laughs> And, and, like, leading just, like, the Justice Task Force on this big, like, yeah, just, like, chase. Uh, until, like, they ran out of gas and got apprehended. I very, I love, I love, I, she's really good. I love her a lot. Um, she's also just really strong. Like, absurdly strong. Uh, she also decreases defense. Um, so she's pretty useful in raids as well. Yeah, I really like her. I like her a lot. She gets a 10. Hanako! This is another member of the Makeup Work Club. Um, her whole thing is that she is a lewd, obscene girl. And I very much love her. Her whole thing is that she talks about sex so much. She makes all kinds of lewd jokes. She, she talks about how great it would be if all the students just walked on the campus naked. <laughs> she does all kinds of outlandish, almost voyeurism-esque things, like walk around in her swimsuit or other types of provocative stuff like that. And then, in her personal story, she, like, she makes, like, little hints and nods to it over the course of, um, like, over the course of it. But it's in it's around like her final uh, personal story that Sensei has a click uh, click for him, where the reason she does all of this is because she does not want to be alone. She hates being lonely so much that she would invoke this outlandish personality just so people would notice her, and I really really like that. <laughs> Um, besides that, she also just, even, like, removed from, like, her doing the outlandish stuff just for attention, she's also just, like, a big troll. <laughs> she enjoys messing with people. Um, so, you know, I very much enjoy her. Uh, she does, she's very fun to in when she interacts with the Makeup Work Club as well, um, as well as, like, anybody else. <laughs> Um, she's another 10. I'm sorry, but she's just so good. Uh, she's also a pretty good healer. She does, like, um, uh, healing, uh, over time in a, in a designated area. She also increases defense, uh, to, like, whoever's, like, uh, having some, have some issues. And yeah, she, like, helps everybody with extra healing, so. Um, she's really good. I like her. I like her a lot. Shiroko, uh, this is, uh, I guess you could say, second in command of the the foreclosure task force. Um, her whole thing is that she likes to she likes to exercise um, primarily with cycling. She likes taking um, bike rides around Kivotos and other types of things like that. Um, she's very reserved, like she doesn't talk much, but she does like have. Um, like, a very fun personality, because, uh, when there was the meeting of, you know, what should we do to help save the foreclosure task force, she goes, well, uh, I've been in, I've been inspecting the local bank. <laughs> These are the hours at which their, their security deposit box, their security deposit room will be open. If we go to these designated areas, then we'll be able to go out of the, the line of the security cameras. I also made, I also needed masks for all of us, so nobody will be able to find our identity. And, <laughs> and everybody's just like, when did you have time to do <laughs> So, I love her so much. She, she, she looks so unassuming, <laughs> doesn't she? Like she looks like she'd be like the the like you know, like emotionless character or like the you know the um the kind of cold character, but no, she's just like she's like eh, yeah. Why not rob a bank? <laughs> I've I've done all the work. 
All you need, all I need is the go ahead. <laughs> so I, I very much enjoy her. Um, an interesting thing though is that in the the intro of this game, um, when like the when like uh, the the random woman is like detailing about how like we need to uh, ensure that everybody in this world uh, ends up happy. Um, one of the people that you end up seeing is a much older Shiroko. Um, and that's interesting. I wonder what is going to happen <laughs> that leads to, uh, her being, like, looking so distraught as she does. Like, pointing a gun at, um, who knows. Um... So yeah, that's very that's very interesting. Uh, but yeah, I like her a lot. She's very good. Um, she's also like a very good like single attacker with a little bit of AOE. And uh, she was she. I really wanted to pull for her, but then I saw that you can get her from hard mode. Uh, so I basically just I did hard mode every day until I finally got her. Um, and I I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy to have her. Uh, she gets... A, she gets a 9. Hibiki! Uh, she is the last member of the engineering club. Um, she uh, very much likes repairing things and tampering with like t technology, but she also loves including absurd features that aren't needed. <laughs> we went for a bit without a interruption there. That was... It's actually... It actually felt like it was peaceful for a moment. Anyway, um, yeah, Hibiki does, like, a lot of unnecessary additions to the stuff that she fixes. Like, she'll add, like, a self-destruct <laughs> function, uh, when repairing somebody's phone. Or, um, she'll give, like, a... She'll give, like, a can opener Bluetooth... <laughs> She'll make, like, an automatic, like, pitching machine that shouts insults. <laughs> um, like, she's very, very fun, uh, as a character. She's very neat. Very down, not down to earth, but she's very chill. Um, I really like her, like, just general chill personality and, like, how, uh, devoted she is to her craft. But she also seems to have... And I don't, I don't know if I'm reading too much into it, but she has... A very big attachment to uh, Utaha. I don't know if, like, it's love, or it's or if it's just like really, um, like really impressed. You know, like Sensei Kohai kind of relationship. Uh, but either way, I very much would like to see if that gets expanded on a bit. And, uh, either way, I approve. <laughs> As you could probably tell by my name. <laughs> um, so her whole thing is that she uses a motor. A uh, mo motar? I don't know how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's motor. Um, it's just pronounced the same as, like, a car motor. But yeah, uh, she, she sends... She sends explosives. Um... Uh, She's apparently, like, a beast in PvP, uh, due to the fact that, as you can see, took me a long time to get her. A very long time to get her. Um, but that's fine. I was very happy when I got her, though. Um, even still. So, yeah. I don't really care for PvP, so I, I haven't, like, like, built her for that kind of thing, but she's very useful in normal stages as well as, well as raid. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll give her, I'll give her an, an eight. Izumi, Bur Burger Girl. <laughs> uh, she is also a member of the Gourmet Research, uh, Society. Uh, however, when I said that, like, Akari was, like, a, a black hole, uh, Izumi is, like, a black hole that's also a garbage can. <laughs> Because her whole thing is that she she has grown bored of normal food flavors. 
So she starts combining food items together just to get a unique flavor uh, out of it. So as you can see, this is a this is a hamburger with chocolate. <laughs> with like chocolate syrup. Uh, there's all there was also like God, there were so many things in like the the summer event that she made. There was like um condensed milk ramen. There was like uh sea urchin smoothie, like all these kinds of like like food crimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and like, pretty much ev like anyone who who wants to like who like if she like tries to offer food to somebody and anybody tries it, they they either immediately spit it out or they get sick. Like, there's no two ways about it. Uh, but she eats all of it just fine. So yeah, she's she is a black hole if it was also a garbage can. <laughs> Uh, I very much like her, though. She's not, like, amazing. Like, her whole thing is that she heals herself. Um, and, like, she's just, like, a damage dealer. She, but because she's in the back, she doesn't really get hit too often, so... Uh, it's kind of redundant, but it's nice to have, at least. Uh, but besides that, she also does, like, uh, decent damage, but it's also kind of random. Like, very random. Uh... But I've, I, even though, like, she's not, like, the best, I just love y using her, because I just love the fluff, the, the overall, uh, look of her, and just how, like, absurd she is. Um, so, I'm gonna give her a 9. Koharu! So, her thing is that she was, she, I guess you could say still technically is, but she was another member of Justice. However, due to her low, low test score, she is temporarily uh, suspended from the the task force until she gets her her grades up and uh, also graduates from the uh, makeup room uh, club. Uh, her thing, though, to to like sort of coincide with Hanako's uh, constant sex <laughs> is. Uh, she loves pornography. <laughs> she reads, like, pornography. The thing is, is that she has read so much pornography that it has started to alter her perception of reality. And in which case, she thinks that everybody at every point in time is ready to bone down. <laughs> so she is constantly thinking that other people are, like, after you know, her, or anything like that, when that's not even rem remotely the case, and she ends up, like, making a fool of herself with her constant delusions of, it's like, I've seen this before, a teacher alone with a student in a classroom? Don't think I know what you're getting onto. It's like, you mean... studying? <laughs> it's like, oh, is that what you're gonna call it? <laughs> So yeah, I I love her a lot. Uh, she's also just a really good character, gameplay wise, because she has with her the holy hand grenade. Uh, she if it if she, she throws it at her allies, it heals them. But if she throws it at the enemies, then it damages them. It's a really good thing. I really enjoy this a lot. Uh, you need to level it up uh, quite a bit to get that like that big damage going. Uh, but even as it is now, it does pretty good damage. And I just enjoy her a lot. She's like... Uh, just... <laughs> the entire, like, quad that makes up the Makeup Work Club might be the, like, the best group in the game. They kind of steal the show, honestly. Um, so yeah, I... She's another 10. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Uh, Sarugi, the swimsuit version of her. Uh, I have not used her that much, considering that, like, I've only gotten this character, like, maybe around two weeks ago. Um, she does, like, pretty interesting things. Like, she does, um, I did this. Um, you know, does, like, uh, she's, like, a pretty good damage, uh, DPS, uh, Mystic character. And, like, does, you know, attack speed. And all that sort of thing when you, uh, upgrade her. 
I'm so close. I'm just gonna spend, like, <laughs> the amount to get her to three star, because that- this honestly bothers me. Um, the thing is, though, is that I'm- and this is gonna be something that's, like, like, you know, prevalent for any other game I kind of look at in the future. I'm not one of the people that go crazy over swimsuits. Uh, I've, n I've never really, like, seen the appeal, honestly. Uh, so I'm kind of... I kind of don't like this compared to her, her normal design. So it kind of... And, like, besides the fact that it's, like, the, the thing I brought up earlier um, with her, like... You know, wondering about if she's spending her youth properly, and she, like, gets put on vacation, and she, like, slowly but surely enjoys it. And there's a lot of fun interactions with, with her. I just really don't care for this outfit. Um, so, it's, uh... I'm gonna give her... I'm gonna give this version of her a six. Hina. This is the head of the perfect team at Gehenna. And... She is absolutely... Uh, a beast. <laughs> she is apparently the the strongest student in Kivotos. Uh, like she just has this very imposing aura about her, and she can like she could take out tanks like single handedly. Uh, she can like wipe out battalions like with, with like a flick of her wrist. <laughs> like she's so unbelievably strong. Uh, the thing is, is that she is a workaholic. <laughs> uh, she, if, like, as if it was not evident enough by the, the event that just passed, um, she does not know how to vacation. She does not know how to take a break. She finds, she finds herself restless whenever she's not doing something. Uh, so despite the, the attempts to make her, like, relax, she, for a big chunk of her, like, vacation, uh, barely got to, because she was constantly thinking about all the things she could have been doing in that time. Which, hey, I kinda relate. <laughs> yeah, besides that, uh, she's a pretty strong damage dealer, does, like, AoE. Uh, she has another kind of reload mechanic. But it's like she, whenever she runs out of ammo, uh, she'll reload instantly instead of spending the the time to reload um, like uh, other people, where you actually had to see them like take out the clip, get in the new one, like set themselves ready. Uh, she's like immediately ready to go, and at, after after that, immediately gets like an attack buff. So yeah, she's she's like really 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 good, uh, really good attacker. I'm, I'm pretty, not pretty, uh, I pretty like her a lot. I like her a lot, <laughs> is what I was trying to say. Uh, she gets an 8. Ifumi in her swimsuit. Uh, I only just got this version of her, like, maybe like three days ago from when I'm recording this. Um, I very much enjoy that her EX skill is that she rides a tank into battle. I'm not even lying to you. This is the main reason that I wanted this version of Hifumi. Um, besides that, uh, the the summer event that like instigated this, uh, she wanted Azusa to actually have like a a normal uh, uh, summer vacation uh, because you know Azusa th with no hobbies over here uh, does not understand how like normal works, <laughs> so. Uh, that's even the reason why they even swiped the tank, is that Hifumi wanted to, um, give them... She wanted to give Azusa, like, the, the, like, the perfect, uh, summer experience. But, of course, everything kind of, you know, blew up a lot. <laughs> uh, it was a very fun event. Uh, but yeah, I... I honestly don't mind this, like, swimsuit, um, for Hifumi. It's kind of cute. It goes, it kind of, um... It ties into her character a lot. I don't feel like it, uh, I don't feel like it's something that she wouldn't wear. So, I'm kind of okay with it. Uh, I give it a, I give her, I give this version of her a 7. Uh, Izumi in a swimsuit. Uh, as I said, food crimes. <laughs> uh, this time she was doing food crimes on the beach. 
Like I said, like the sea urchin smoothie and all that kind of stuff. She... Yeah. I haven't done her, um... Her, um... Personal stories yet. I like the relationship stuff yet. So I don't exactly know how... Uh... Her recollection... Animation happens. But I do know it involves an octopus, like... Attached to her. <laughs> and I don't know what happens. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um... So that's gonna be fun to find out. Um, she's apparently insane with this skill in particular, because the way it works is that she'll throw like a she'll throw a coconut at the enemy, and when it, it like it lands, it explodes, it inflicts stun, but then it will ricochet to anybody that's nearby and inflict stun to them, and it does that up to five times. That's insane. <laughs> That's kind of insane. Uh, I could see this character being, like, absurd in PvP if she's not already. So, yeah. And, wow, even a chance to inflict stun while attacking. Like, Jesus. So, yeah, that's, uh, this version of Izumi is pretty, pretty bonkers as a, as a gameplay. Um, eh. Again, the swimsuit doesn't really do much. I, I give I give this version of her like a I'm gonna say a 5.5. I I want to give her a six because of how good she is gameplay wise, but I just don't. I just don't with this. <laughs> um, and so we are uh sort of done. <laughs> we had to go now all the way down to all the ones I don't own. <laughs> uh, don't mind that. Um, Shun. Like, if I remember correctly, she's supposed to be, like, uh, actually, we can just check. Uh, she is part of the disciplinary support department, um, in Shihangjin. And, or Sha, Shan Hai Jin. Yeah, Chinese. <laughs> um,. So yeah, she's she's she she's got the aura aura energy like nobody's business. Um, I kind of want her. She's kind of neat, but I have no clue about like how she is gameplay wise. Um, and she hasn't shown up in the story at all, so I don't really have too much to go off of her with her. But she seems cool. I'll give her a six. Yuzu, this is the uh, leader of the game development department. Uh, she has a uh, crippling <laughs> social anxiety to the point that she uh, hides in a locker, like almost <laughs> at all hours, uh, because the the game that she made um, was. Like, the first game that she made was considered online to be one of the worst video games ever created by mankind. Uh, as such, with all the verbal abuse that she got, she basically kind of just, like, hid away from the world. And it wasn't until Midori and Momoi showed up that, like, she got, like, a sort of confidence boost to be around other people. Because, like, they actually, like, enjoyed, uh, what Yuzu was going for. And then, of course, Ara showing up, playing the game and liking it, and, you know, uh, wanting to also, like, make games like what Yuzu made. Uh, she ends up, like, slowly but surely getting a, uh, getting a bit of a confidence boost. She also, apparently, had, like, a very big, uh, um, what's the word for it? She had a very big, like, um, uh, reputation. That, there we go. She had a very big reputation about her in certain circles because there's a there's a side story where after Momoi gets trash talked <laughs> by by <laughs> by somebody in a fighting game, uh, she, she Momoi actually tracks this person down and is just like, "You're being a toxic player." And it's like, it's like, are you embarrassed? Aren't you embarrassed to be complaining about st like stuff like that? It's like maybe get good at the game if you're gonna complain so much. Um, which 
it's utter, utterly savage. But uh, then Yuzu shows up, completely decimates the the like the the um the toxic gamer as it were, and people notice her screen name, and they're like. Yo, you're the person who got the high scores in like every single arcade game in this place, and it's like, no, no, I'm no, I'm nobody special. It's just I'm really good at games sometimes, <laughs> and like, uh, she like a bunch of people show up to try and get her art like autograph, and <laughs> she's kind of like, it's like, I uh, could someone help. <laughs> um, so I really, I really want her. Um, the thing was, is that when it had her and Aris's banner, uh, I actually couldn't get either of them, uh, through, like, normal pulls. It was actually, like, the only time I had a really bad, uh, pull session. And I had to go to Pity for Aris, and I didn't have enough to get Yuzu, so, uh, one day, one day I'll get her. Uh, but as for now, she gets an 8. Forgot I can't do that. Oh, no, I can't do that. Okay, they, they fixed that. Normally, if you tried to do that, it would go back to all the characters that you owned. Uh, so you had to keep going back down. Okay. I never actually knew that they fixed that. Um, Karen. She is another member of the, um, uh, the, the CNC. As you can see, she's number two. Uh, she seems very cool. Uh, the only experience I have with her is her, like, sniping, uh... Midori and Momoi as they try to like go so they try to sneak into the um security <laughs> uh section of Millennium. Uh and like the whole confrontation between her, Utaha, and Hibiki like sending <laughs> uh motor uh motar explosives their way. Um So yeah, I really I really I really want to learn more about her. And she seems pretty neat, so I'm gonna give her a Gonna give her a seven. Uh, Yori in a swimsuit. Eh. It's. I'm gonna give her a five. Uh, normal Iori. Uh, she seems really funny. Uh, she's like very, she's like very hard working. Uh,. But it's times where that hard, that the hardworking side of her kind of like, kind of like, makes her easy, like makes her easy to like fall for like traps and such. It's like she's so adamant at chasing down criminals and other types of stuff like that, that like if they set up booby traps or something, she would like immediately fall into them. Apparently, <laughs> um. Yeah, she takes her job. She takes her job so seriously. Uh, tries to do well, but she's kind of a she's kind of a dork. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of want her. Um, I'll I'll give her a uh, I'll give her a seven as well. Uh, Hina in a swimsuit. I think it's very funny that uh, despite how <laughs> despite how old uh, Hina is. Uh, this is her elementary school <laughs> swimsuit. So, like, could you imagine not growing at all after, like, a decade? <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's kind of funny that, like, the... It seems that, like, the only thing that, uh, grew with, with her, uh, was her hair and her power. But as a result, she's just very small in stature. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, the event with, uh, her was pretty nice. I liked it. Um, and just, this is very funny to me. So, I'm gonna give this a, I guess this is an eight. Uh, Haruna. Uh, I really want her. She's another member of the Gourmet Research, um, group. And she kind of is, kinda, she's kind of like a classy, um, uh individual until the topic of food goes up and then she kind of like spirals <laughs> like into this like demented speech about food and like what it means and like all the kinds of things she's basically the one that sends everybody on their like high raising adventures um and even the most recent thing is like she wants to understand 
why does why like why does corn taste so good with people on the beach? So in order to do this, we brought like several bags of corn and are going to give them out to people on the beach. So that we like sell them to people on the beach so we can like take note of how tastier the corn ends up being in this in this kind of setting. Um and like it's all kinds of stuff like that and I very much enjoy her. As you can see, I'm very close to getting her. Uh, she's another character you can get from just doing hard mode over and over. And um, probably it'll be like another week or so and I'll 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 have her and I'll be looking forward to seeing like what she does. Um well, yeah, uh, she gets a she gets a seven, and f I think this is finally. Yeah, finally we have uh, Cherino, uh, Lolly Stalin, as it were. <laughs> she is the, um, uh, I get. Hmm, let me see. Yeah, student body president of uh, Red Winter Academy. Uh, she is very selfish. She is, uh, very tyrannical. Uh, she, you know, kind of, kind of doesn't keep charge, uh, kind of doesn't really, um, treat her like her fellow classmates, all that right. Uh, as a result, uh, she is constantly overthrown by anybody who has, like, a, a sizable group that wants to go against her and, like, her, her morals and principles. Um, she ends up just getting kicked out of office and having to fight her way back in, like, so much. And the event with her, uh, was that it was one of her subordinates because they accidentally broke a statue. Um, and... <laughs> like, the... It's, it's very funny to see this type of character, um, be absolutely hoity and toity and completely, um you know, ab abusive with their power, lose all that power, and then they're just like, uh, <laughs> I was gonna have pudding at this time. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of like her. Um, one day I'll get her. Um, yeah, she seems pretty. She seems pretty good gameplay wise. Like she, her EX skill is like her getting like uh, a bunch of her subordinates to like shoot wildly in every direction, <laughs> uh, which I think will help out in certain raids and such. But um, yeah, I, I think she's neat. Um, I give her, I'll give her a seven. And with that, uh, we are done with Blue Archive. I. What's funny is that I was originally going to, um, I was originally going to, like, go over, uh, the, the characters that aren't in the game yet. Uh, but we're at over two hours <laughs> with this video. I didn't think this video was going to be this long. Um, you know what, real quick, why don't we? Uh, so there's Swimsuit Azusa, um... It's, you know, it's Azusa, like, going to the beach. Um, I also don't really mind, uh, the, the swimsuit. You can kind of tell that Hifumi got, uh, both of theirs, like, at the same time. Uh, so, it is kind of, like, you know... <laughs> it's kind of fun in that sense. Um, despite the fact that this, like... The, like, she would never pick something like this out herself. It fits for, like, the game. Uh, and, like, uh, and, um, like, the, the in-game reasoning for it is, like, it makes sense, uh, for that, for, like, the character and the circumstances that happen. So I'm kind of fine with it. Um, well, yeah, besides that, it's, you know, it's Azusa in a swimsuit. Um, I don't know if she's, like, supposed to be super good or anything. I don't really keep track of tier lists or anything like that when I play, uh, Really, any game, let alone mobile games. Um, so yeah, I'll give her like a like a six, I guess. Um, a Shiro in a swimsuit, uh, kind of similar thing. You know, it's her in the swimsuit, uh, and uh, she kind of she kind of gets like hyped on the the idea of Azusa being so combat ready at all times, and like gets like gets really into it with her. 
Uh, especially when they try to make a sandcastle and they basically determine whether or not, like, barbed wire, well, not barbed wire, or uh, rebar, or any, uh, like, stuff like that would be better for fortification. <laughs> uh, so, stuff like that's pretty fun. But, um, yeah, the swimsuit's okay. I uh, give that version of her a six. But, uh, what's next? What's gonna be next after, uh, this current, uh, event of stuff is going to be, uh, a cycling version of Shiroko. Uh, it's gonna be her in a biking outfit. Um, and it looks nice. It looks fine. Uh, it wouldn't, it makes sense. Uh, it's kinda weird that it's not just a costume. It's like it's, it's, uh, it's its own character with, like, a different moveset. Or, not moveset, but skill set. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it's fine. I give it, like, a, a seven. Uh, after that, it's gonna be a young version of Shun. <laughs> I'm guessing because this was... Uh... No, I don't even think it was... I don't even think this event did happen around Children's Day in Japan, so I don't actually know why. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, but it's... It's Shun, but a lolly. Uh... Uh... It's... Six? <laughs> yeah, it's either six or seven. She's kinda cute. Um, then there's Kirino, and she's gonna be a member of, like, the, the, like, police academy, uh, Ekivotos, and I really wanna, I really wanna find out more about her, uh, so I, I'm really excited about her, uh, she gets a, she gets a seven right now. Uh, then there's a casual version of Saya, it's fine, she looks neat, uh, that's a six, and then there's the infamous, uh, the, the reason why a lot of people even picked up this game is the, the Playboy Bunny uh, uh, outfits uh, for Neru, Karen, and Azuna. Um, I'm going to also say that I've never understood the appeal of Playboy Bunny outfits. Um, so, also, so these also don't do anything for me. Um, and until I get to the event, all of these are like... They're like a... Four. I'm I'm honestly not gonna pull for any any of these characters. I any of these versions of these characters. I like their normal like looks way better. Um, after that, there is Natsu, which is uh, someone I'm really hoping for. Um, she's she's like another friend of Yoshimi in the the after school sweets club. Um, and apparently, like a lot of her dialogue is that she relates everything to sweets. <laughs> Like, she's so obsessed with them that she, like, she makes it, like, a, a habit to have an analogy for sweets for everything. Which I think would be pretty fun. Um, she's, she's gonna be a, a, um, uh, a tank that has, um, uh, Mystic. So that's, uh, that's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, uh, I also really like her design, so I'm gonna, she's gonna get, in, uh, eight right now. She'll probably get more when she comes out and I learn more about her. Uh, Mari, she's part of, uh, Trinity's, uh, I think it's, like, the Sisterhood? Uh, but yeah, Gun Nun. There's a Gun Nun in this game, because of course there is. She gets a seven. Uh, then there's Hatsune Miku. There's gonna be a collab in, like, a couple months. Um, if it's still, like, if we're still gonna go on the, the schedule. Um, apparently the, the plot of the collab is that Miku gains a physical body, <laughs> somehow. Uh, and she, she just starts, like, she, like, makes, she starts to make, like, concerts and stuff in, um, Kivotos. And it turns out that there's just a lot of girls at the, at the, the schools that really enjoy her music, coincidentally. Um... But yeah, uh, this is a nice outfit for her. Uh, this isn't the isn't the most obscure game I've seen Miku show up in. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, she's neat. It's Miku. Yeah, she gets a, she gets an eight. Uh, then there's Akko. She's like the the subordinate, uh, second in command at the perfect team. She's in charge of all like the tech, uh, tactical support and all that sort of thing. Uh, always Hina's right hand woman. Uh, in, uh, detailing the work and all that kind of thing, and she's very fun. She's a very fun character. I thought I was going to hate her when she first showed up in the, the main story, um, and she, like, like, planned that assault on the, um, on Abydos, but she, she's, she actually turned out to be a really fun character. Uh, so, yeah, right now she gets a, she gets a seven. 
then there is a hot spring version of Cherino. Um, it's fine. Uh, I give it a give it a six. Then there's uh, Shinatsu that gets a hot spring version, and this version of her is actually the uh, is actually a version of her that's actually going to be out on the field. She's going to be an attacker as support as opposed to support. So that alone has me very interested, and uh, will probably lead to me actually using her. Um, because I always wanted her to, like, it's like, she, the thing that's always so, ups, like, that's kind of upsetting about the, about, like, uh, having support characters is that they have such, like, cool-looking guns, but they never fire them. <laughs> because, in some instances, because, you know, they're, they're medics or they're, like, you know, support. They don't, they don't fire, uh, at all. So, you know, it's, it's nice that they will make versions of those characters that will actually be attackers. Uh, and, you know, uh, the, the yukata, or kimono, I should say, uh, is very good on her, so she gets a 7. And then there's Nodoka that gets a, a, uh, hot spring version as well. Again, uh, kimono's pretty good. Um, uh, that also gives it 7. Uh, then there's Aru and, uh, Mutsuki. They get New Year's outfits. They're in kimonos. They look nice. Uh, Aru gets an 8. Mutsuki gets a 7. Uh, then Sarika gets a New Year's outfit where she gets a, she's a shrine maiden. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Kind of fits, like, the, the workaholic, uh, not workaholic, but, like, hardworking, uh, nature of her. Especially, it's, like, you kind of relate it to, like, Toho a bit with, uh, Reimu. Um, I like it. I give it a 7. Uh, then there is Wakumo, uh, which is a character that showed up in the in the prologue of the game that was going to attack Shawl. Um, but apparently there's going to, like, we're apparently going to be able to, like, actually figure out what her deal is. So that's going to be, uh, intriguing. Uh, she has a pretty neat design. I like her. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to give her a seven as of now. Uh, then there's, uh, Senna. She's, I think she's part of the... She's from the. She's in the emergency medicine club. That's it. Okay, so she's a medic at Gehenna. Uh, she looks neat. Uh, she looks fine. I'll give her a seven. Uh, then there's Chihiro. Uh, she looks neat. I think she's part of the police academy as well. Um, no, she's a member of uh, Veritas. She's another member of the hacker group. Okay. Um, well, either way, I like how she looks uh, a lot. So she gets an eight. Then there's Himori. Uh, this is a character that showed up in one of the events as just a, like an offhanded side character, and um, yeah, they seem like I I wanted all of them to be like characters at some point. Uh, so happy to see that they are. Uh, she gets a seven. Uh, then there is Yui. Uh, this character gets a ten. Honestly, <laughs> this design like speaks to me a lot. She gets a 10. I'm going to save for her. <laughs> Hopefully I get her without breaking, like, the, 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 the bank. Proverbial bank. Um, it's not like I'm gonna be spending money if I'm saving. Uh, but yeah, if she gets a 10, I really like her. I can't wait for her. Uh, then there's Hinata, which... A uh, very interesting character, uh, to have in- to have coincide with, uh, Yui. Uh, I think she's part of the sisterhood as well. Uh, she seems neat. Uh, her EX skill is like her, uh, getting on a mounted turret that she- that shoots grenades, I think. It's pretty insane. Um, so yeah, she's pretty neat. I like her. Uh, she gets a 7. Uh, Marina, uh, the- one of, um, Cherry No's subordinates. Yeah, finally gets to be a character. Uh, she's the one who accidentally broke the bust of the statue. Uh, but yeah, neat that she's finally in. Uh, she, she gets a, she gets a seven as well. I like her. Uh, then there are, um, there's a bunch of, like, welfare characters that they give you during the event, uh, during the events. There's Tomoe, which is another one of Chirino's subordinates. Uh, she also ends up being a character. I really like her design a lot. She gets an eight. Then there's, Fub uh, Fubuki. I think she's the, the the other member of the police force I was thinking of. Um, yeah, she's part of the police academy. Uh, she is a gremlin. <laughs> she is a lazy gremlin that eats all the time and doesn't want to do work. Uh, I, I, I adore her. She, she gets a seven. 
And then the newest characters as of now are Miyako and Saki. And uh, what are they from? They're from the Rabbit Platoon. The thing is, is that I think these character designs have existed in the game's file since the beginning. And it's only till now that these characters are actually getting, um, like, per like, like, used in the game's story. Which I think is really neat. Um, I hope that a lot of the characters, because there's, like, quite a lot of characters in the, um, in the, uh... Like in the files of this game, and I could I could spend a time talking about how many of those characters I wish would get like you know full characters. Uh, but this video is already long enough as it is, uh, two hours and thirty minutes. Jesus. Um. Anyways, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> I can't believe I thought this video was gonna be short. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, so that is, that's my opinions on everybody in Blue Archive as of, um, April 1st, 2022. Of course, new characters will show up, um, and, uh, if, uh, enough, if enough come out and I have enough of a opinion or, like, my opinions change on any of the characters or anything like that, then I will do, like, an update, um, uh, later while I, would, like, touch on any characters that... Um, that came out, or characters that I had new things to say about. Um, but yeah, either way. Uh, let me know how you felt about all of this. <laughs> Cause, this was very, this was, this was like, kind of fun to do. But I have no clue how this will be to watch. <laughs> I have zero clue. I hope this was fun. Or at the very least, pal palatable. Either way, uh, thank you so much for making it this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching in general. Um, I will see you guys next time. And again, let me know if you would want me to do this, uh, this type of series. Um, I it won't only be with gotcha games, obviously, uh, but. I do play quite a bit of those, so it's going, uh, you'll see a few of them here and there. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that should be all. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. Be safe out there. I'll see you guys next time, and take care. Arona gets a nine.